I am on a mission right now. I am actively tracking this UPS truck. Contained within is my very first camera. I missed the delivery, so I drove around for the last 20 minutes trying to locate the driver. <laughs> I pulled up next to him and I was like, can I follow you to the UPS center? And he's like, sure, okay, oh God. Status update, 15 minutes tracking the UPS truck. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going. And I hope at the end of this road, there's a package with my camera inside of it. Yes, there's three UPS trucks here. We must be getting close. I'm completely confused. I don't know which car is which. I'm pretty sure that's the one. That's the truck. No, no, that, that's the truck, that's the truck. Oh God, there's so many trucks. And I will not be allowed to drive in here. So how do I get inside? So I need to get into that truck. Right in there has my camera. So there is a at will pickup office, which I did not know existed. So basically anybody like me who missed their package can walk in and basically you have 30 minutes from eight to 8.30 to see if you can get your package. I'm extremely excited. It's go time. Not sure if I can get it tonight, I really hope I can, because maybe the driver brought it in, maybe they didn't. Uh, so I gave him my name and number, and uh, we'll see kind of what happens. I've been waiting for this for a week. I really, 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 really hope I get it tonight. So, I didn't get it tonight. The next day, hours and hours and hours of research, hundreds of dollars spent, days of waiting, many degrees of freezing temperatures endured. It's really cold right now, We're going in. I'm here to pick up a package for Jake Abdomen. This is an access point, but yeah. um, I was supposed to get a package yesterday at a call. They're like, we'll be here tomorrow. Do you have the uh, address where it's supposed to be at? Because I don't see that here. Why, why? This is the camera that won't arrive. Very kind gentleman just explained that it's actually in that locker right there, that brown and yellow thing. Interesting. Okay, so I just tried, again, unsuccessfully to get the package. Uh, it's not here at this access point yet. And uh, to be honest, this is kind of getting frustrating. It was funny at first, but now it's, it's getting kind of annoying. So the package was supposed to arrive yesterday. Uh, by 8 p.m. I was out working and my mom was at home. I figured that everything would be fine. We have a dog who can bark whenever the, the, the UPS driver comes, right? She always does. So I get an email at 6.15 saying, no, sorry, I get an email at 7 saying, hey, we tried to deliver the package, we missed you. So I'm like, what? So I call my mom and she's like, hey, nobody, nobody ever came, the doorbell never rang, nobody knocked. The dog never barked, she checked the porch, there was no package, nothing in the door. So I'm like, okay, a little weird. I call UPS and I'm like, hey, can I just go pick up the package from the driver? And they're like, no, well, what we can do is take your package to an access point. Basically a place where you can go and pick it up yourself tomorrow. This, this place, right there, right? So, so I actually wound up running into the UPS driver last night when I was driving. He's near my house, so I'm like, hey, can I get the package from you? And he misinterpreted thinking I wanted to go to the UPS center, whatever. So I took you on that journey. We drove, I drove 30 minutes. I followed the guy to the UPS center. There's a very nice lady there who helps me, but she's like, hey, it's already scheduled to be taken to this access point, this access point. So when I get home last night, um, I get home at nine o'clock, whatever, on the door is that we missed you delivery sticker. But on that delivery sticker, it says, it will be at this access point tomorrow. Which means that the email that I received was BS. So for some reason it was marked as already delivered prior to them even coming to my house. Cause how else would they, like they would have to like try the house, drive around for an hour, get the call from UPS headquarters, then drive back to the house and put another sticker on the door saying, oh, it'll be at this access point. So I'm kind of frustrated with that. Um, I don't really know why that happened. So this guy, this guy right there, he 
tried to go. He tried to go into the access point. This package didn't come. Look how look how upset his dog is. His dog's not happy either. In a dramatic turn of events, I got trapped behind this gas tanker, and then the EPS driver pulled up. Hey yo. Hey, how's it going? Is that for Jacob Abdenor? Who? Jacob Abdenor? No. Oh, okay. How's your day going? Pretty good. I was trying like 10 minutes ago, but my package isn't here yet. And another status update. I am now waiting for the UPS driver to offload all the packages into the little access point because I can't just give them the number that I have. Is it safe? Is it clear to get the package now? Ah! So let's try this again and uh, let's just have a mutual understanding. If this doesn't work, then um, I'm gonna get arrested for assaulting these uh, inanimate lockers. Uh, they sent a verification text to my phone. That's me. No, I don't wanna do that. Just give me my package. Give me my package. One package locker, F1 is open. Where's F1? C, D, E. Okay, I'm sorry, but we both knew this this time was coming. Don't cry. Don't cry. No, no, no. Okay, it's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just, uh... Goodbye. I can't leave you. I can't. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you die. I just wanna tell you how I'm feeling. Awesome. Yeah. I don't see the 64 gig uh, micro SD card yet. Uh, tripod. Super not happy right now. Everything is here except for the one, except for the memory card. Without the memory card, you can't use the camera because nothing can be stored on it. It's nowhere in this package. <laughs> called Amazon um, and they were they were cool I talked to a very nice guy named Robert in Tennessee if you ever see this video Robert in Nashville Nashville Tennessee just uh thank you I appreciate that Robert had a very interesting accent he spoke exactly like Matthew McConaughey all right all right all right like I would not be sur surprised that that was Matthew McConaughey doing like a Candid camera, candid microphone. So Robert for Amazon helped me out. He's sending me the memory card. It will be here on Sunday. So I can't use the camera. In the middle of an eight or 10 mile run. I'm gonna burn off some steam. Then I'm going to drive to Best Buy and buy another memory card. And you know, not to sound like a totally entitled American consumer, like I want my things and I want them now. That's not what I, you know, number one, I rarely buy myself nice things. I've been really looking forward to this camera. It's it's a tool to help me be creative every day. And my setup I have, I've had for the last month is fine, it works, but it gets old after a while. Obviously I can make the videos and stuff without it, but it's like, it's a new tool and I didn't spend a ton of money, but I spent a bit of money. And it's like one of those things where you invest in something and then it kind of like, it becomes like a serious hobby almost, you know? Where you like, sp like before, like I was just kind of doing it with stuff that I had, so I didn't feel, I was like, oh, I'm not losing anything. But now it's like, when I'm doing, when I'm doing this, when I'm doing these videos, like I love doing it, so I don't mind. But at the same time, it's like, oh, you know, I put, a, I put a little skin in the game and it kind of makes it a little realer, you know? So I just wanted to like get this camera and just get it over and done with, make it like part of my, part of my thing so I don't have to think about it. I'm trying to think about it, you know? That's also, I'm sorry to you guys because I'm behind on my, my schedule. It's, it's Friday right now. I didn't do Tongwen Wednesday. I didn't 
film anything on Thursday. I was gonna do food trip Friday today. I was gonna go get cookies and I was gonna try and combine it. I was gonna try and combine Joel and Wednesday into food trip Friday, but I wanted to have the camera to do that because the camera has a nice mic, because I got a nice microphone for it and it'll sound good and look good and <sighs> look, no excuses. So hopefully the very last shot today will be on the new camera with the new microphone and it'll look and sound sexy. Also, I did heavy weighted squats for the first time in like three or four months, three days ago. My little chicken legs, these babies are so weak. Halfway through the first set, they, are, they were already sore. That was eight miles at a 7.16 pace. Okay, I'm going in here. I know they have the card. I just don't know if they're gonna do price matching. <clears throat> On Amazon it's 30 bucks, here it's 50. I'm not buying it if it's 50. If they won't do the price matching, then I'm not getting the memory card tonight, then I have to wait until Sunday and I'm gonna freak out. I don't think I set foot in a Best Buy in like three years. It's exactly the same. They only had 32 gig, I need 64, but this'll do fine. How's it going? Good. I need to do a price match too, is that cool? Yeah, perfect. How's your, how's your night going? I need more coffee. <laughs> more coffee. Ah, okay. thank you so much. Have a great night. Thanks, you too. <sighs> I'm so tired, this whole process has been exhausting. Maybe I'll just go to sleep and not even use a new camera. So today was a little bit of a American consumer day. I admit it. But I just this isn't this isn't a common thing. Like like I so I live in Taiwan and having this convenience and this ease of buying things is not commonplace for me. Like just buying shoes is an ordeal. Um, getting products from Amazon uh, within two weeks, let alone two days, is like unheard of. And half the stuff on Amazon I can't even buy anyways. I apologize a little bit, but not really, because I'm really happy I have this camera. Mm. So don't you, don't you sit there and, and judge me. <sighs> okay. Uh...